Hey, yo, yo, yo. You know, I cannot do that. Only Pastor Jay can do that. My name is Don Kim. I'm a very good friend of Pastor Jay. He may not say that I am his good friend, but then he is very good friend to me. And I'm very grateful that I can be here today, and not only today, but this month and maybe next month to share the message with you. Uh, really, sharing the message of the Word of God uh, is a privilege, and not only a privilege, uh, but joy for me, especially with lots of young people. Uh, you know, I met Pastor Jay many, many years ago, even before you were born, uh, when we were doing youth ministry together. And one thing that I wanted to learn from him was his passion, how passionate he was, not only for the young people, but for the gospel, and wanting young people to grow in the Word, and I am very, very grateful and also privileged to be invited and share this message with you. You know, December means what? Christmas. Christmas is coming. And you know, my son, I have three children, two daughters, and youngest is my son. Uh, and this is really not about my son's story, uh, but then reminds me of my son and reminds me of a lot of people looking forward to Christmas receiving gift. Uh, there was this boy about 10 year old, about his third grade. Uh, he was looking forward to receiving Christmas gifts. So knowing that his parents prepares the gift, uh, but then he pretended that Santa is bringing him a gift. So he was at a department store and he was going through like a Toys R Us and then he was looking, pointing out two gifts. Both were Lego sets. Well, one was a really nice gun shaped, you know, putting together and making a handgun kind. And another one was spaceship with many gadgets. So it's, a, it's in a big box and one was in very small box. And he told his dad, oh dad, I wish I could get those two for Christmas. And then his father said, you know, you've been a bad boy. Don't you know that you have to be a nice boy to receive those kind of gifts? You're not gonna get those. You didn't even listen to me or get good grades. Uh, you know, a lot of times in Korean family, receiving gifts means you have to be nice, you have to be obedient, and you have to bring good grades. But then he didn't do any of those. But Christmas morning came. And not as he expected, he only saw one small box. Uh, there were no spaceship. Uh, he talked about two boxes, but then only received one. And he was very, very sad, almost to the point of crying. But then, you know, he received a small gift, so he opened it up very carefully, uh, and then sure enough, he began to cry. His father prepared a Barbie doll for him, and all family members just, just laughing out loud. Uh, he said, I hate you, and then went up to his room. And the dad ran after him. Okay, sorry, sorry, uh, I was just kidding. Uh, I have another gift for you, a real gift. Uh, so brought him to the downstairs. So he kind of wiped up his tears and then looked at the tree and then sure enough, there was another big box of a gift. Uh, uh, it was very, very sad before, but then as he saw that gift, all that pain, all that tears, all that regrets and all the complaints just disappeared immediately. And he felt very sorry that he told his father he hated him. And also he was very sorry that he didn't study uh, he didn't bring good grades. He didn't even listen to his father. Uh, and he was really being thankful for the father who prepared the real gift, big box. Uh, and, you know, really, box didn't really matter to him anymore. Uh, now, he is so grateful to him. How he likes his father now. He was happy and he was coming into that wonderful, loving relationship with his father that his father wanted. You know, this kind of real gift brings us back that kind of relationship, brings us peace, brings us joy. So he opened up. Sure enough, he found Barbie dollhouse. You know, real gift, when you realize the value of the gift, it wipes away pain, it wipes away sadness, it wipes away all the complaints, it brings peace. It brings grateful heart. It brings humility. It brings the memory of the person who gave me that gift. We experience Christmas every year. But one thing I want to challenge you this Christmas, pair this Christmas for its best value. 
How can you prepare so that you can get most out of Christmas? Instead of just receiving gifts, giving gifts, instead of just having complaints over gifts, even if you receive some, oh, this is not what I wanted, oh, this is not good enough, oh, this is useless. If we really want to celebrate Christmas, appreciate Christmas, we have to prepare. Why? Because Christmas in the Bible was prepared by God. Prepared for so many years, hundreds of years, thousands of years, even before the creation of mankind, God prepared Christmas, the best gift we will ever receive. And this is the meaning of Christmas, the birth of Jesus Christ, God giving the best gift he can to the people he loves, he cares. But yet still, we are so into receiving small gifts, giving small gifts. You know, somebody said Christmas is like giving unwanted gifts to the people that you do not even like, that people who would not even appreciate the gift that you give. But you know, this year we must, we must prepare Christmas so that we would truly celebrate the spirit of Christmas of our God, our Lord Jesus Christ. Then how do we do that? We must know the value of the gift that God has given us. You know, John 3, 16, he says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. What God wanted to give us was the eternal life in Jesus Christ. Eternal life means the life of Jesus Christ. And life of Jesus Christ means Jesus Christ himself, which is God himself. Uh, in other words, God gave himself. God gave the best gift to us so that we would have wonderful, peaceful, beautiful, exciting life forever. But only when you receive and only when you know the true value of this gift, then can you truly celebrate Christmas and can you really be happy with the gift? But then what is gift, this gift all about? Well, it is about love. For God so loved the world. You see, this gift God that gave us, it's about love. It's about God's love, God loving. It's about God loving mankind. It's about God loving you. It's about God loving me. You see, this is why this gift is so important, so wonderful. Why? Because it's about love. How many of you really be in love? When you're in love, you know, you get excited, you get wonderful, you get all energetic. Why? Because you know somebody loves you. And when you're in love with somebody, then you get excited. You know, a lot of boys and girls, they get together and then they so-called share love or they love one another. This is power of love when you're in love. It gives you energy. It gives you excitement. It gives you hope, even in hopeless world. And this is why Bible says God gave us. This is why Bible says Christmas is the gift of God. God so loved the world that he gave. What's so good about this gift, gift that God had given us? First, it is about love. It is the love gift. You know, we love to receive gifts, receive things. But then the best thing in the world, the most important thing in the world, the thing that really gives you energy, really gives you excitement, really gives you hope, power, everything that you want in life is, is love. This is why everybody wants to be loved and everyone wants to be in loving relationship. And this gift of God is it's about God's love. God loving me, God loving you, God's personal love for every single individual. Uh, not only God's personal love, but then God's sacrificial love. How he gave himself. Uh, you know, not just money, not just things, not just a little bit of time, but then giving his whole self unconditionally. Hmm? You know? In human love, we love conditionally. We give gifts conditionally. We give gifts to only love people that we love, people that we care, people that who love, likes us and who deserves my love. But then, you know, God's love is very unconditional. He loves everybody personally, individually, equally, unconditionally, and persistent love of God. God never quit loving us. 
how many people in this world would continue to give us this gift to this kind of love? Only God does. Persistently loving us, pursuing us, and promising He would never depart. He would never not love us. But you know one thing we must understand? Every day, every Christmas, is the real value, true value of the gift of God that He gave us in Jesus Christ. So let us pray. We will celebrate this Christmas by understanding the full value of the gift of God, Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Oh, Father God, I thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to share what a value Jesus Christ is to us. Wonderful, mighty, beautiful, amazing gift that you have given us. Father, we want to fully understand the fullest extent of our Lord Jesus Christ, who He is, why He came, for whom He came. Oh God, it is, it is just unfathomable. But yet, because of Christ, we come to know You, get closer to You. We love You. We confess that Jesus is our Lord. Amen.